Hey guys, welcome to the uh, second video on uh, Maxwell's equations. In this one we'll be deriving Ampere's law with Maxwell's corrections from the covariant form of Maxwell's equations. Oh, well, one of the equations uh, involved in representing Maxwell's equations in a covariant form, which is here. If you don't, you're not familiar with this, uh, take a look at the first video on deriving Coulomb's law. Uh, Okay, so we've already looked at uh, we've already looked at the case where nu equals zero. So let now let's look at the case where nu equals one. So we get the partial. First of all, let's just uh, remind you of this. Hold on, remind you of this uh, this notation: partial zero equals one over c uh, partial uh, with respect to t here. Uh, that's where we get this c squared from. So we get one of the c's from here, the minus e to the x over c here times c squared. Um, so that gives us this. Uh, now going on to nu equals one, we get the partial of x uh, with partial of zero with respect to x, which is just zero. I haven't included that. Then we go on to partial of pz with respect to y minus the partial of py with respect to z equals uh, permeability of free space actually this is the magnetic constant even the magnetic constant times uh, current density uh, the x component of current density just try and get this camera a little fo more focused um, going on to nu equals 2, uh, we get the same thing. I, uh, you don't really, in uh, we get the same thing here except for y. You don't encounter these two terms in this order when doing the summation. I've just uh, changed the order. I've put the bz this side and the bx this side just so we can see um, exactly what's going on. Well, not really what's going on, but it uh, makes it more obvious uh, to see where to go next which will make sense in a second. Uh, nu equals 3, we get the same thing, by minus bx, uh, same kind of thing, and that equals uh, magnetic constant times uh, current density in the z direction. Okay, so look at these here, uh, we go from bz to B to bx to by, by to bz to bx, y, z, x, z, x, y. This should be ringing alarm bells in your head. It is in fact the curl, the curl of uh, the mad, uh, the curl of b. So we can now put all of these together into an equation, and it's uh, here, which I think is pretty beautiful. Uh, just a note: this here is the uh, current uh, current density vector, three uh, three dimensions. Don't confuse it with this four vector. This four vector, this four vector has the charge density times c, and then the three components of current density. Uh, don't confuse these two. Okay. A little bit of rearranging gives us this, which you should uh, recognize as uh, Ampere's law with Maxwell's corrections. If uh, we this is this here, this term here is the correction. If we ignored this, we could use the Kevin-Stokes theorem and get the integral form of Ampere's law. The last two equations of uh, Maxwell's equations are gotten from this one. This is just another equation used for the covariant uh, uh, covariant formulation of Maxwell's equations. Uh, alpha, beta, uh, gamma are summation indices, whereas lower case delta here uh, can run from zero to three. So, uh, because it can run from zero to three, we get four separate equations from them, 
first equation here is divergence of uh, b equals zero and the second one which is a vector equation which gives us the other three equations is the curl of e equals partial minus the partial of b respect to t okay hope you enjoy the video uh, thanks for watching